yes thank you very much for staying with us once again for yet another fantastic video yeah we wasted our our sleep um again yesterday we wasted our sleep and we are going to tell the truth to the ghana black stars players as well as the coach of the black stars chris Hilton, in this video yesterday we lost 4-0 as at half time we lost 4-0 to united states of america in a game um, ghana blasters played versus them in a friendly game but it was a shambolic performance the worst i've seen the black stars play I me mean, i'm not old like that but this is the worst i've seen the black stars play i couldn't recognize the blasters and you see nobody should come and say that oh in the second half we did better so there are there are no signs in the second half, we didn't do anything we didn't what, what which chance did we create which attack which we don't we had one shot on target in the whole game that was from muhammad kudus the shot on target Psh, nothing we are going to try to give you some of the the goals in fact all the goals that um we considered and we explained to you what actually went wrong with the senior national team the black stars that led to us losing the game 4-0 we will speak the truth to the black stars players as well as the coach of the coaches of the black stars subscribe to this channel if this is your first time watching us if you've not subscribed do want to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any um you have to hit the notification bell so that anytime i drop a fantastic video you'll be the first person to have the video like this video and hit the notification bell leave your thoughts and comments below in fact let me know your you see when you come say something under the comment section what, how did you see the game what do you think is wrong with the black stars what have you learned from the two friendly games we played versus mexico and versus the united states of america what can you say about the game in total let me know all of that in the comment section of this video thank you very much for staying with us so you see <laughs> this coach he doesn't learn no i'm telling you this blaster school he doesn't learn that's the fact he doesn't learn and even i don't know i don't know what he's doing as a blaster school me if, if i have the money and the powers i'll sack him yes i'm telling you because look there's there are no signs oh, that we cannot improve he's always telling us to improve but he cannot improve the team can you imagine we've given you the job to improve the team take the team from somewhere to a certain place and you are always explaining our problems to us and hey, we do this and then this and yeah i'm that oh my goodness a shambolic performance poor performance from the black stars if you if you didn't watch the full first half and eh, you will not understand if you watch the goals cry i think i think if you watch the goals you you understand how bad the black stars were in the first half bad <laughs> and you see all boils down to chris Hutton. i'll give it to him every time how, why did he start ed monado why tell me one reason why he started ed monado one reason the guy is not good the guy is just not a good ball recover he cannot recover balls he's not good He's not good, but you keep calling this player and giving him the chance. What has Edmond Ado done to or given to Coach Christian? What has he? I don't even understand what is happening. You play a football. Look, don't blame Thomas Pato. It is not about favorite Thomas Pato. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. When he goes to us now, we see how he plays. Look, this player is coming from injury. Instead of you to partner him with a player who can defend very well, you partner him with Edmond Ado, who 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 has no clue. Oh my god who has no clue how to defend he has no clue how to defend he's just in the ball and when the usa picks the ball from their defensive half they just ah my goodness you are watching the ball and you are like which team is playing is it you don't understand because usa just picks the ball from their defensive half and then they dribble everybody they just take the ball through the midfield of the black stars into the attack just like you are a hot knife is slicing a margarine hot knife slicing the margarine you don't understand what is wrong with coach chris Hutin and the black stars back line shambolic and me i don't even understand even me 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 i have not gone to any coaching course i know that in football when you call a player or a new player comes to the team has had fewer matches to um fewer training sessions with the team jerome opogu why do you start jerome opogu with nicolas opogu why why did chris chris Hutin do that one reason why he did that and in his in oh my goodness me i have to control my 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 emotions and this thing yes because i just don't understand that me i know that you don't have to start a very new player with nicolas opoku at least such a new player if you want to see him and how good he is you give him 30 minutes of football you give him 45 minutes 35 minutes of football not starting him to play about 70 or whatever minutes or even 90 minutes you don't do that anywhere but coach resulting did it 
poor backline. And Gideon Menza, nobody will talk about you again. Gideon Menza, when we talk about Gideon Menza, you guys you can't be like, oh, this, this, this. That guy is not good, oh. Gideon Menza, he's not good. <laughs> he is not good. He's not a good left back. Whether you like it or not, he's he's one of the best, in quotes, that Ghana has, that Ghana, we, Ghana, we are, we are having. Do you get a point? But he's not a good player. The fact that he's your best left back doesn't mean he's a good player. Onyade, Onyade, Andy, if you guys think that Gideon Menza is our best bet when it comes to the left back, and if I'm Gideon Menza by this morning, I'm crying. I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. Because I was on the, in fact, I was on the pitch. I, I played shambolically, shambolically. And then they, I was substituted and a right back was used in my position as a left back. You, you don't know how to play football. Instead of you to learn football, guy, guy Mexico, one army, my share here. United States is to work with you. Yeah, penalty, you're quite as on more water. As on more water. The ball is far away from you. Still, you want to stretch your leg to take the ball. Hey, my goodness. Black Stars play at senior level. And we say that he has quality. <laughs> we. He has no quality. Only Bobo. Yeah, yeah, factual. I have a little bit. Look, we can give him 100 chances. One. <laughs> Look. Play be our son. Oh, and then only one or good two moments. And if Gideon Mensah, the only thing we have about him is one good moment, one good moment. And because he's so bad, whenever he has a slight good moment, we think that he's a good. Oh, nade. I'm telling you, oh, nade. <laughs> you know the uh, Sergio Des. Yesterday he made Sergio Des look like Lionel Messi. Sergio Des. He just dribbles everybody on the left side. Edmond Ado was on the left side. Dribbled pass. Thomas Partey dribbled pass. And I'm saying now Thomas Pate is coming back from injury. So you don't expect him to be getting real. Oh, yeah. Ah, me me pray a long time. Me was able to come back now. And now I, I'm going to play. I'm playing for the Black Stars. And you expect me to be taking balls from the opponent. What if I go into a wrong tackle? He will not do it. So what you do is that you partner him with a player who will do that. And this coach, in the two games, he didn't do that in the shape of Salah Samet. He didn't partner Thomas Pate with Salah Samet. He just didn't do that. He didn't. <laughs> good way. He's not good. And you see, the problem of coach reshooting is he doesn't know the team he's coaching. That is what. He doesn't know where we are going and how he should take us. Or how he will take us. He he, he has no idea about that. He thinks that Ghana is some Chad B. Chad or Kibvet. That any a draw be will be we will always be okay with a draw we will always say that oh the team played better in the second half oh the team is a is a process it's nothing process a process we see every process we see that there is something going on this one there is nothing going on coach chris Hutin is just he's not doing anything but you saw the game versus mexico and you saw the game versus usc what did they do between that time that be, that two days or so they had our training what did the coaches do tell us tell us what they, they this is what they did this is what that is why we consider four goals that tell us tell us they did nothing he just calls 11 players they f if he fills them and he tells them go and do your best what tactics game plan and formation what tactics and game plan does he put in place to ensure that the black stars win games we played one shot on target in two friendly games versus mexico and versus usa one shot on target that shot on target wasn't because we worked out something to attack no kudus Mohammed got the ball from afar tried to shoot that is it one shot on target there is a coach that we pay him so much and says that he's been with the black stars since 2022 March 2022, we tell him all these things. We say these things, and he's still failing for the blasters. He's failing. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Speak truth to power, okay? The black stars players, they are shambolic. Ali do say yesterday you had a very good performance. Look at one. <laughs> My god, what, what is wrong with us as, as a Ghanaians? What the goalkeeper, you tried his best. If it's not Mana of Nurudine, eh, yesterday we would have considered like six goals in the first half. Because in the first half alone, they had eight shots on target. Eight in the first half alone. Now, in the second half, that, this is the reason I'm saying that we didn't play anything. Nobody should come and say we play something. Look, the US thought that, look, we've beaten them 4 0 in the first half. Why should we go and attack in a friendly game in the second half? No, let's relax. Let's save our energy for cloud football. Let, let's leave the ball, ball to them. Let's rather show that we can defend. 
and they did that in the second half perfectly. So USA, they, they, this is the perfect game for them, and they, they've they've used it to assess their team very well. What did we assess? Our, we only assess that coach is not good, and the Blasters players are equally not good. That is what we assessed. Nothing else. Nothing. Nothing assessment beam. Now let me leave you with the um, player ratings. How the players perform. Me, if you if you give me the chance, everybody gets like four, 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 four. <laughs> Inaki Williams won't even bother. He can never play for the Blasters because the coach he doesn't have any system to support Inaki. We told you this yesterday. The coach has no system to support Inaki Williams. So man, I've no five. Yes, now man, I've no five. I leave you say to seven point zero. Seven point is the only brightest spot in our team yesterday. Defending very well and doing very well. I give you a man, sir, two, three, two. two. Which one crash should I give to him? Maybe one. What summer? Nicholas Opukunso enya four on four four na um Ado Edmonado three Edmonado three Thomas party five four point five four point five and a Jordan are you um six Jordan are you six Joseph Pinto four point five um kudus muhammad five because of the shot on target five and i know Williams williams so in uh five uh, yeah thank you very much for staying with us i'll see you in the next time bye bye